we're out here on the Kenai River this morning. Had to come out kind of early, about quarter to five, to get a spot. It's a little busy. We got a tournament going on today, so just getting started. Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer coming to you from the Kenai Peninsula here in Alaska for the first time because this is one of the most popular salmon fisheries in all of North America. The weather's starting to change. We don't have a full day of sunlight anymore. It's just uh, most of the day. And guess what that means? That means silvers are coming in. Fish on. The silver. We're going to come out here and do a little salmon fishing today. All for silvers. There still are a little bit of sockeye and pinks in the river, but we're out here for silvers today. Early morning silver bite. Like my eyes aren't even open yet, silver bite. <laughs> a sunrise silver. We're gonna show you how easy it is to catch them when you got good bait on the boat and you're with a good guy. We're looking for silvers today, but we'll get a lot of, uh, we'll, we're gonna catch a lot of pinks regardless. There's just too many of them. So here's the pink salmon. We get them every even year. We're not really targeting these, but there is a lot of them in the river. There's the silver. You fight a lot harder than the pinks do. Get that. Come on. Hey! Ooh, Ooh. Oh, fish. First silver of the day here on the Kenai River. As you can see, it's still got some sea lice on, but I think I saw a couple right back here. We're only five miles or so from the ocean here, so you get a lot of fresh, bright silver. Is this an average size silver for yep. right here? It's about a nine pounder. Nine pounder? Nice female. So we're in the tidal area right now. These are sea lice. It takes them about 24 to 48 hours to lose when they get in the fresh water. So these fish came in on last night's tide. What's special about the Kenai River? Our fish are consistently bigger. Why, I don't know, it's just the genetics in these fish. All the salmon in this river are all, all natives. There's no hatchery system on this river. It's just majestic up here in Alaska. It's heaven up here. It's my favorite place on earth to come fish. Either it's silvers, kings, sockeye. I try to come up here every year, spend some time with Luke. You never know the quality of fish you're gonna catch. It could be a 50 pound chrome bright king right out of the salt or a 20 pound silver right out of the salt. Kenai River Silver. Nice female. Well, today on the Kenai, we're using Potsky's uh, Pink Fire Cure. Uh, it's a sulfite based cure. The salmon really seem to enjoy it. it. Firms up the bait, holds its color really well, and really puts a milking action in this water. Look at the water, it's all silty, and it's just a cloud of smoke. As soon as you drop that bait down, it just smokes, milks right out. So today we're using pink fire cure. It's a little bit brighter. Our river's typically on a clean day. It's silty, so it's not super clean. Today it's it's a lot dirtier. We've had floods last week. But the pink works the best for me. Silver's like bright stuff, and it's pretty hard to beat pink. I want it to be right between sticky and gooey. I don't want it super super gooey, but I want some uh, I want some scent coming off of it. Uh, and you need scent in this river, just with the water clarity. If you don't have scent, good scent, you're not going to catch fish. These eggs and divers are working today. Yeah. Pink is the color. Doesn't want to come in. He's going to have to. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Another silver. That is a beast. It's got a lot to do with the angler. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a male. Sea lice, good little fish. Pink fire cure row. Like a four ounce lead. And, well, we're getting bit right behind us. Another silver we're looking like here. See what happens when you leave the rod on the rod holder. You get bit. You don't believe this is a silver now. 
there are still some humpies in the river and we're guessing that that's what this might be. Male pink right there. You see the hump? Oh, look at that. Well, the silvers, they tend to, they like the slower, the two and a half to five foot of water, not the fastest. Um, and so we're on a corner right now, we're on the inside of a corner, so we're just getting them as they cut the corner. The tide was at about four this morning, so we're getting all the fresh fish off the tide. And this is a this is one of my favorite spots to be in the morning. But if you have the right spot, go catch fish. You can be 50 feet off, below, or above, and you can't catch fish. And that middle boat will catch fish. These inside slots where the silvers are coming up, uh, there's just clogged with boats. Now, if you look down below us, you can see four, five, six boats within less than a hundred yards. But you know what? That's what happens when you have one of the best silver fisheries in North America. Show them, baby. Much silver on here. Put the energy and then you put the current together. It's a little tough to get them in. Get our first run silvers is about August to end of August, and then uh, second run is September through October. First run of silvers they average seven to ten pounds, a uh, little smaller. Our second run are about ten to fourteen pounds. We get a lot of fifteen to eighteen pounders that time of the year. Um, not as many fish, but there's not as many fishermen either, and the water's a lot lower that time of the year. Just hammered that. Here we go. That's a nice one too. That's a good way to start the morning on the Kenai River, baby. Nice little silver. <laughs> Fish on, baby. It's a little slow there for a minute. Just flat hammered that bait. Oh, that is nice. Nice fish. Nope, he's not ready. Woohoo! I'm looking for. That's what we're after today. Thanks, Luke. So we got a big male here. See the hook nose? That's how you tell if it's a male. The female just have a really round nose. That's a good 12, 12, 13 pound silver. Nice Kenai fish. Show baby. We got a hot one. Another male? Good bait. I guess he likes the bait, huh? Yep, another male. What a nine pounder, nice fish. Another day of limits. Lift them up. There we go. Great day on the Kenai River. Yeah. Even with the old man from West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Take me home. Uh, it shows what you do when you have a good guide, good bait, and fresh silvers coming through. So what we're doing, we're doing two different things. One, one's jet planer and eggs, um, and then John back here's back bounce. Each one's effective, some more than another some days, so we just try and mix it up so we know which one's producing more fish. Today it's been, jet planer has been a little bit more effective than uh, back bouncing, but the skilled guy behind me is slacking a little bit. Fish, oh! Fish, oh! Good job. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, a slacking. <laughs> I was trying while you guys were doing the anger. Oh, that would have been perfect.